Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching The Engineer Boy. So a friend of mine just sent me this uh, diagram, okay, which is just a property. And he asked me to work out the area of the same property, okay. So this is just a boundary whose dimensions are 20 meters, 25, 32, and 12.8 meters. Okay, now in order to determine the area of this property, there are actually two methods, okay. One is to split the property into two uh, triangles, you can say, okay. And I can do that by splitting the property just like that, okay. So this is triangle one, this is triangle two, okay. Then we're going to determine area of each triangle and the summation of these both triangles is just the same thing, okay, area of the total. Now, what Patwaris do, they just add this one and this one, and let me just do it like 20 plus 32, okay, the opposite sides, and they take its average and then multiply the average of the other sides like 25 plus uh, this one, which is 12.8 meters and divided by 2, and they consider this is the correct area which I'm not actually agree with because this is average and average is never taken okay is 100% accurate area so let's just calculate this okay now in order to get the the video for this side I'm going to say this one this one okay divided by 2 this is going to be 26 and times 25 and 12.8 uh, divided by 2 this is going to be 18.9 something okay so let's get that zero okay now 25 uh, sorry 26 and 18.9 this is going to be uh, 491 point something okay so let's take that 491 okay square meter is the area so according to Patwaris and the average formula area of this property is just 491 square meters. Now, what I do actually, I use uh, the Heru formula. Okay, I split the diagram into two triangles. Okay, does not matter if you have any other shape like this one. Okay, very irregular shape. Okay, you can just split it into triangles and just determine each of each triangle, and then you are done. Okay, just add each of each triangle. So you have worked that out. Now, in order to determine area, this guy. Okay, let me just draw it again so I can have a again. Okay, just a minute. This is twenty meter. This one is twelve point eight meters, and there we have this guy, which is thirty two meters. This one is twenty five meters, and. Actually, what I did, I asked him to determine the diagonal by measuring tape. He went to the property and he measured it. And he said that it's gonna be, uh, let me just check that uh, SMS, okay, if I have in my mobile, okay, so I can just see it. Okay, he said that that is just uh, 32.50 meters or you can say 32 meters and 58 centimeters okay so this is what he sent me actually now let's say this is area one this is area two we're going to determine each area and then we'll add or you can say the total area which is area of this property is going to be area one plus area two so simple let me just calculate area two and i'm going to use the uh, you can say Hero's formula, which is S into S minus A, okay, and that is actually S minus B and S minus C, okay. A, B, C, these guys are just the parameter of the triangle, you can say, okay. S is actually the semi parameter, or you can say, let's consider this one, area, uh, okay, we are calculating area 2, so I'm gonna have this guy okay which is 20 25 20 plus 25 plus uh, this side okay 32.58 
and divided by 2 because this is a you can say semi parameter okay and i'm going to use calculator little bit so i can have that calculation exactly okay so we have s which is 38.79 meter this is s let's just put that over there in the formula okay so area 2 is going to be s which is 38.79 into s which is 38.79 minus a a can be any side if we take a is this one this is going to be b this is going to be c for triangle uh, this one a2 okay so a is actually 20 okay and i'm going to drag that over there again 83.79 minus b which is this one 25 actually and again s which is 38.79 minus c which is 32.58 now this is a, a good calculation you can do that by calculator so we can get a2 which is going to be actually uh, if I use calculator that is going to be 249.83 something okay square meter so this is actually one area okay this is actually area of this triangle that is a2 249.83 square meter now we're gonna calculate a2 a1 sorry we're gonna calculate a1 and let me use another page okay so let's let's help that guy okay i'm going to draw a one that triangle so we can have that clear 32 meter that is 12.8 meter this is 32.58 meter and this is a one now in order to calculate a one i'm going to use the same formula which is hero's formula s into s minus a s minus b and that is s minus c a b c again these are the sides okay let's take this one is a this one is b this one is c no problem okay now again we need s for this triangle remember s that one was just taken for this triangle for this triangle we're gonna have another s or you can say the semi parameter of this triangle so that is going to be 12.8 plus 32.58 plus 32 divided by 2 so we can have s and again i'm going to use a calculator so we can have correct answer okay do not judge that <laughs> okay plus 32 and divided by 2 so that is actually 38.69 meter and let's put this video in the same formula okay so that is a1 and that is square root and s that is 38.69 into 38.69 okay if you see that it is the same thing okay and oops sorry 38.69 minus a which is actually 12.8 okay again 38.69 minus b which is 32.58 again s which is 38.69 minus c which is 32 okay now area one is going to be if you do that thing okay that calculation this is going to be uh, 202.488 something okay square meter okay so let's just jump into that okay again this one is 202 point actually 488 now the total area which is going to be the summation of these two okay so area equals a1 plus a2 and that is actually area a1 that is 249.83 okay 
and a2 okay sorry this one okay this is actually a2 this is actually a1 and that is 202.488 okay so this is this is actually quite simple and straightforward 249.83 plus 2 0 4 8 8 okay area equals actually 452.32 square meter and that is the properties area now according to that uh, method if you just compare the average method which was 491 and the exact value should be this one 452 and how I'm saying that this one is wrong method never used it you have to use the hero's formula which is this one okay and this is 100% accurate let me just show you that uh, if I can show you that in AutoCAD okay let me just show you that in AutoCAD okay if you look to this diagram it is actually the same diagram and if I just uh, type double a space and then o space in the command bar click this property and if you look little bit below okay that is the area i can copy that and paste it here so we can see so the area which is 452 and remember in the same calculation we got this with hero formula okay with the average formula that is just more so never use that formula. The correct formula is the hero's formula. See you in the next video.